Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today's video is turning out a little different than I had originally intended for it to be. So let me preface this video by saying this video is not to bash Jaclyn Hill at all. I'm actually a fan of hers. I have bought her collaborations in the past. I have no issue with her. My channel is about the makeup. I am not a drama channel. I don't even watch YouTube drama channels at all. Sometimes I'll fall into a black hole, but for the most part, I don't watch or follow the YouTube drama channels. I never address YouTube drama on my channel either because I'm about the makeup, I'm about the products, and I know today's video is walking on a very fine line about this being about the lipsticks and not the drama, but I'm going to try to stay as neutral as possible, and like I said, this video isn't about Jaclyn. It's about the lipsticks, it's about the products, and that is what my channel is about. My channel is about makeup, so let's talk about it. So on May 30th, Jaclyn Cosmetics launched. Jaclyn came out with 20 nude lipsticks, and I was so excited, I ended up just buying <laughs> the entire vault, all 20 of the lipsticks, uh, and I spent $300 of my own money on this launch. You know, I also bought these to review and swatch for you guys here on my channel. Now, I have spent the past couple of days wearing like one lipstick a day, so I've worn two of these lipsticks. I just wore the same lipstick all day, and I was loving it. They are creamy, they are thick enough so that they last longer on your lips, they are pigmented, they are a beautiful range of colors, I love the packaging, and I was loving these lipsticks. And then, all of a sudden, the world <laughs> came crashing down, and there was all of this drama about these lipsticks. Now, let's be honest here, Jaclyn cannot release anything without everybody being hypercritical about every little detail in the products that she releases. Like I said previously, I have purchased her collaborations, and I felt like everybody was always too hard on her uh, with that whole Morphe Vault collection. People were down like rude and mean about it, and I will say those weren't the best eyeshadows in the world, but you're paying a Morphe price for them, so I don't get why everybody was, I don't know, I just feel like people take makeup too seriously sometimes. And with Jaclyn, I feel like people are always expecting everything to be perfect and super luxe quality for a cheap price. And I'm like, that's just not... No, that's not really possible. You know, when Jaclyn makes herself out to be this perfectionist, she wants this to be perfect, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? Millions of lipsticks are being produced. And statistically speaking, not everyone is going to be perfect. I have done a little bit of research, not a ton. Uh, I would recommend you check out Raw Christie Beauty's videos and Jen Love's reviews. They both have very strong thoughts on this and I feel like their videos are very unbiased. You know, they are factual, not fiction. So I will link the videos that I did watch down below. Definitely would recommend Raw Christie Beauties. That one will freak you out and make you not want to use these lipsticks. Some words that I heard going on about this launch were like contaminated, moldy, old, hairy. Things you do not want to hear about your lipsticks. Like I said, I spent two days wearing these, loving these, didn't think anything of them, and then once I saw all of the stuff that was going on online, uh, there was a number of lipsticks, a lot actually, that I had not yet used, and I started looking into them. And I was seeing some things that were being talked about, and I will say, I would not have noticed any of this if it hadn't been for the attention that was brought to the situation. I would have used these, loved these, um, it had I gotten to this video earlier, I would have told you how much I love these lipsticks. I do want to say that I know absolutely nothing about makeup production, makeup ingredients, chemistry that goes behind all of it. Literally, I know nothing. But I am going to show you my experience, some things that I noticed, um, and just be completely factual about it. Another thing is that people were saying these lipsticks were old, they smelled Play-Doh-y. I smelled all 20 of my lipsticks. I noticed no old lipstick scent going on. I just noticed that soft vanilla scent that I do really like. So from the lipsticks that I have, they all smell nice and new to me. I did try to get close-ups of some of the imperfections, but I don't have that good of a camera. I don't have a microscope like Raw Christie Beauty, so 
sorry uh, I did my best but one thing that I noticed from gossip and this one was kind of gross looking it's not as gross looking now because I rubbed it out but there's little tiny holes around the top of this lipstick now go to Royal Christie Beauty she has a way better view on it but that lipstick is what mine looks like I did smooth it out and they smoothed out right away but yeah there's just like tiny holes on the side and if you put a microscope to it it looks really really gross so yeah and I do also notice a couple of fibers on the side and one on the top of this lipstick which the fibers was a big deal in one of the videos there actually was a really long fiber that somebody was pulling out of the lipstick it was embedded uh, from what I can tell that is not in any of mine but I do see these little white fibers that people are talking about in the shade Sophia this was something that I noticed with application I did use this lipstick but it is a little bit gritty and people were talking about how the ingredients in here are unblended and that is why people are getting chunks and what seems to be balls of wax or whatever nobody really knows what they are this one is a has a little bit of like sugar like granules it seems in here so it's a bit of a gritty texture i haven't really dug down into this but this isn't super smooth so this next one hotty toddy this has a couple fibers sticking out like most of them and it also has what kind of looks like a fingerprint on it now some people are saying this is like a moisture mark some people are also saying this is mold obviously none of us know I don't think it's a finger I don't see any like fingerprints so it's probably that moisture mark but People seem to be concerned about this, so I did just want to bring that to your attention. So this one, in my opinion, is one of the worst. This is That Girl, and That Girl was actually smushed on the top when I opened it, which, honestly, not that big of a deal. It happens sometimes. And then I rolled it all the way up, and you can see that the bullet isn't all the way pushed in it was not put in properly and you know what i own 20 of the millions of lipsticks that were produced this is bound to happen statistically that's okay i'm not mad about it but like dang it is another imperfection in my collection <laughs> so as if i had a hard time getting this on camera so there's definitely not a video on this but this one has those tiny little pinholes around it just here and there not everywhere and then there were a couple fibers on this one as well and then this one i think is called badass I don't know because it doesn't have a sticker <laughs> and also it looked like it's been touched on the top honestly I don't know if that was me this honestly could be me but it looks like it was touched but I might have touched it I don't know uh, but anyways on the bottom it also was put in very messily into the bottom those are the lipsticks that I did notice some issues with had this whole situation not occurred I wouldn't have noticed these however six of the 20 lipsticks had something wrong with them so that is a large percentage of what i purchased and there are some people that got way worse orders than myself like raw christy beauty got some nasty ones so i definitely think i got minimal imperfections in my order and then like six out of 20 is a lot though i just wanted to point these out because these are what people seem to be concerned about and i wanted to show you like yeah, these lipsticks aren't perfect. And if these are some things that you're concerned about, uh, they are real, they are relevant, I'm not lying, I have no reason to. There are a lot of mistakes made in my lipsticks and I do think I am going to contact Jacqueline Cosmetics just to get um, new ones sent out to me of the ones that were a little bit messed up. I'm not mad, I'm not going to be waiting outside of Jacqueline's house with a pitchfork. Uh, it's really, it's lipstick. But you know what, people do spend their hard-earned money on these lipsticks, so that's why I did want to let you know that there are issues right now in production. Uh, I would recommend you to buy these lipsticks down the road, but I would definitely wait for them to get these kinks figured out because I'm sure it is a mess over at their factory right now. Jacqueline Cosmetics is a brand new company. They have a lot to learn. It just sucks that they were really under a microscope for this release. So all of the little mistakes that brands have, people are watching. And unfortunately, they are capitalizing on the mistakes that Jacqueline Cosmetics has made. And it really makes me feel bad for her they're doing the right thing they are reimbursing they are sending out new fresh ones um and that's all we can ask as consumers it sucks that it had to be this way and Jacqueline Cosmetics I mean 
they really need to work on their quality control, uh, the blending, temperature, whatever issues that I don't understand. I'm sure they know what they need to work on. And like I said, I originally liked these enough to recommend them to you guys. And once all of this happened and I looked and I saw that it was true, I definitely would wait on picking these lipsticks up. I think down the road, once they have everything all ironed out, it'll be okay. These are good quality products. And with a new brand, things are gonna happen and hopefully they get this figured out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts on the situation. I just wanted to keep it real and honest and unbiased. I am looking forward to seeing your comments down in the bottom. Bye guys, have a great day.